What's crack a lackin' Jeff Gamers? It's that time of the season again, that time of the year. It's Game Awards time, baby. Nominations. People are gonna get mad about X Game and Y Game getting robbed. I can't believe Skatebird isn't gonna win Game of the Year. Bro, oh, 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 what's that? What's that weird bar ratio? It seems I have uh, missed the entire thing and I'm watching it. Uh, retra retroactively, but you know, here we are. That means I can avoid all the bullshit. So anyway, let's just. Ugh. Let's just skip. Let's just skip. Boop boop, and there we go. All right, all right. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. That's my boy, my boy Jeff with the drip. Microsoft Theater here in Los Angeles. Who's gonna win? Well, first, you have to find out the nominee. Yo, it's time. Give me the goods, Jeff. Hi, everyone. I'm Jeff Keeley. Hello, Jeff Keeley. Game Awards nomination special. We are so excited that our eighth annual show will be streamed Shit, live. Shit, there's been eight of these? The Microsoft Theater on December 9th with an in-person audience. Lots of big world premieres and spectacular live music, too. I can't wait to hear that world premiere 30 times. It's gonna be great. In the weeks ahead, we will tell you much more about the show. But right now, all right, Jeff, get into it. All right. More than 30 categories. Starting right now. Time. Once he wants the Monster Hunter Stories 2 get Game of the Year, baby. Best performance. Perform. Oh. All right. Erica Mori, Life is Strange. Oh, not Life is Strange. All right, off to the bad start. My boy. Jason Kelly, Deathloop. I knew it! I, I knew Lady D was gonna get nominated. I, I absolutely knew it. In the category of best multiplayer. I have no idea. What's what's even back for blood. I heard that game was bad. I forgot about that game. That's gonna win. Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter. Ooh, I heard XA2 was kinda of fire. For best ongoing game, the nominees Yo, Among Us? Among Us? Among Us? Among Us? Okay, it's gonna be Final Fantasy. Oh, not Genshin, bro! Nah, get Genshin the hell out. Okay. Oh. Kena Te- Ooh, ooh. Ooh! Ooh, this is a stacked segment. This is stacked. Oh, no, 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 Neo Tui. Yo, Neo Tui gotta be here. Neo Tui. No! I guess that counts. Come on. Neo Tui. Neo Tui, bro. Neo Tui. Ain't no way he's saying all these numbers. No way he's saying all these numbers. Bro! Where, where's Neo Twoey? Robbed! Neo Twoey got robbed, bro. Forza Horizon 5. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Resident Evil Village. Ooh, Ari wins this. Maybe Return. I thought that was good. Accessibility presented by Chevrolet recognizes games that are pushing boundaries by making our industry available to more people. Selected by a special committee of accessibility. Yo, let's go Chevrolet. Far Cry 6. Forza Horizon 5. I have no idea what's gonna win. I'm just gonna guess Forza because it's a big game. I don't even know what these have. Never heard of that game in my life. Next up, best narrative. The nominees are Deathloop. It takes two. Damn, Deathloop, Deathloop doing numbers. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy and Psychonauts 2. Psychonauts, really? Games for Impact recognizes a thought-provoking game with a profound pro-social meaning. The nominees are. This, this. Your eyes. Never heard of it. No. Oh, Chicory. never heard of it. Life is nah. And no longer never heard of it. Best independent game celebrates a game made. What indies came out this year? System. The nominees are Twelve Minutes, uh -huh. Death Door, Kena, Ridge of Spirit, Oh yeah, that is indie. Inscription and Loop Hero. I mean, Kino wins. This is Kino where wins. nominees will be seated in just a few weeks. But for now, let's get back to the nominations. For best mobile game presented by Verizon, Who cares? the nominees are Fantasia, nah. Genshin Impact, Nah, again? Wild Rift, Wait, was it nominated last year? I don't even remember. And Pokemon Unite. Oh, not Pokemon Unite, bro. For best community support. Pokemon's the winning that, right? Pokemon's the winning. Destiny 2, Final Fantasy 14, it's gonna be Final Fantasy. Fortnite, it's gonna be Final Fantasy. My boy Yoshi P deserves something. Best debut indie game. Recognizes a development studio that published its first ever game in 2021. Keen is here, I assume, too. Kena, yep, there it is. Sable, the never heard of it. Escape, never heard of it. City, never heard of it. And, and never heard of it. VR AR game. 
The nominees are asleep. Hitman 3, I Expect You to Die 2, Lone Echo 2, Resident Evil 4. Oh shit, they, they, they did release RE4 again for the 10th time. Yo, Scott the Waz. Scott. Nah, not Dream. Not Dream. Man, Scott was robbed, bro. No, Scott. No, Alpha Red. What even is this? Far Cry 6 and Returnal. For best action adventure game, the nominees are Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy. Yo, Mar <laughs> oh, Metroid, Metroid might get this. Ooh, but oh. Um... Ooh, stacked. Segment stacked. In the category of best role playing game, the nominees are Cyberpunk 2077. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. All right, clean. Scarlet Nexus. Really? Who the hell played that game? And Tales of Arise. Now, before we get to our next category... Tails wins. A look at what's next in gaming. Of Tails course, is winning that one, Freddy. ...a big world premiere to the show this year. Both brand new game announcements and announced ones. But what game are you most looking forward to? Well, here are the selections... Ooh, the so we got Breath of the Wild 2. We got we got Kirby and Forgotten, War Forgotten Land. Oh, it's gonna be Elden Ring. It's gonna, it's, 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 gonna be, it's gonna be Elden Ring. Forbidden West, the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and Starfield. No one's looking for Starfield. That started the Game Awards in 2014, Dragon Age Inquisition from Bioware won Game of the Year. And this month, Prime Gaming members can download it for free in addition to Control Ultimate Edition from Remedy. Yo. It was nominated for Game of the Year back in 2019. Wait, actually, hold on. Back here on December 9th, we will have more new offers and free games. Actually, hold on. I might download that Control. If you have those games, you can head right now to gaming.amazon.com. And now back to the category. For best fighting game. Guilty Gear wins free. Demon Slayer. <laughs> no way! No way they got the arena fighter in there. Nickelodeon Yo! Nick's losing. Fighter 5, Guilty Gear wins. Guilty Gear wins. Guilty Gear wins. Like free. Who was voting for Multi Blood? Virtual Fighter died after a day. Nick was a flash in the pan. It's not coming. Oh wait, hold on. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Uh oh Mario Party Super Oh, Mario Party? Yeah. Mario 3D World and Bowser's Fury. I guess I can't. Mario Wear! Let's go! Yo, Mario Wear getting the respect it deserves. Microsoft Flight Simulator. The category of best sports. What the hell came out this year in this section? F1 2021, FIFA 22, Hot Wheels Unleashed, Forza Horizon <laughs> Is the Hot Wheels game that good? And Riders Republic. Now, a look at our eSports category, starting with the best <laughs> All right. game presented by Grubhub. I'm the asleep. nominees are Grubhub? Call of Duty. Call of Duty what? CSGO, Dota 2, League of Legends. Yeah, I, 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 I don't care. For best Wait, hold on. There he is. Did I just see Simp? <laughs> Alright, I don't care. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be what I don't even know. Evo didn't happen, so why do I care? Alright. Alright. Here's the juicy stuff. Oh, oh wait. No, game direction. Game, game direction. It's like the same. It's, it's like the same thing. Alright, alright. All right. Psychonauts Whoa, Psycho not taking a lot of ones. And Egg takes two. I heard that game was great too. Ratchet. All right. And finally, on behalf of the jury, comprised of more than 100 global media and influencer outlets, I am proud to announce the six nominees selected for outstanding creative and technical excellence. The nominees for. All right. My predictions: Metroid, Deathloop, It Takes Two, Ratchet and Clank. Guardians of the Galaxy and Resident Evil Resident Evil 8. But I wanna see I wanna see Monster Hunter Stories 2 get in there somewhere. That should have been a best RPG instead of Cyberpunk. Stories 2 was robbed. Alright, alright. Hit me. Hit, hit me, Jeff. Alright. Alright, so far I'm two for two. So far I'm three for three. Psychonauts 2 from Double Fine Productions. Okay, Psychonauts. I gotta play Psychonauts, I guess, is what I learned here. And Resident Evil Village. Well, I got five out of six. So you've seen all the nominees for the Game Awards, but what game do you think should walk away with an award? 
Stories 2 didn't get anything, bro. It's rough out here. Vote for nominees in all the major categories and tune in live on Thursday, December 9th to see who wins. Thanks, Jeff.